Well, it has been quite the cleanup after a fire and explosion broke out last night at a cannabis business in Palm Desert. Firefighters were called to the building on Dinah Shore just east of Monterey shortly after 8 p.m. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura joins us live right now with the latest. Bianca, we've heard of some hot spots burning throughout the morning. What have you seen there? Hi, Angela. It's still active. These crews are still working to put out those active hot spots. We learned recently that the roof collapsed in this business, not allowing fire crews to get inside, so they have to work from outside. So if you take a look at the roof of this business, you can see that fire crews are working to put out that active hot spot. And as of 4 a.m., We've seen this building break out in smoke twice, and fire crews have had a quick response each time managing to put out that smoke. And it's not just fire crews that are on the scene. Since last night, neighboring businesses and residents saw this structure go up in flames. One business owner sharing this surveillance video with me. It was taken just seconds after she heard an explosion, and you can see heaps of ash from the cannabis business just covering the camera. A lot of them are concerned, many of them asking how a business with such risks was allowed to operate in this plaza. Take a listen. I noticed there was no sign on the building whatsoever. You know, it was the windows were completely tinted. You never knew what was going on, but the stench was horrible. I think the city of Palm Desert needs to be a little bit more responsible. When we built our building, the amount of inspections we had to go through just to be able to open our doors was insane. And I respect that because it makes us safe. But what good is that if my neighbors aren't safe? What good is it if, if as an owner of a building, I have to go through all of that, but a, a lessee does not? And Cal Fire officials have also confirmed that marijuana is surrounding the perimeter of the of what was the fire and the building. They've also confirmed that that product was used for extraction. And they've told us that some of the tanks outside of this building are, in fact, butane. However, when it comes to the cause of the fire, there's still an ongoing investigation. And we'll make sure to keep you up to date with the very latest. I'm live here in Palm Desert. Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. Interesting points that those neighboring businesses bring up. Thank you, Bianca.